In anticipation of developments, they extend all the way from finding out new mechanisms, molecular mechanisms, genetics, um, way that our body works and what goes wrong with it. There have been important discoveries in those areas, particularly drugs, and drug discovery has made significant advances in very recent years. Clinical trials have to pass through various phases. Phase one is where you establish the safety of a drug. Phase two is where you begin to test its efficacy, how it, well it works, as well as assessing its safety. And phase three is where one undertakes what's known as pivotal clinical trials, which determine whether a drug can actually gain a marketing authorization, approval for its administration as a regular medicine. Exciting developments have included new applications for existing drugs in pancreas cancer, and a big study coordinated in Liverpool has shown that, uh, recently published in The Lancet. Another example is a study that's about to be launched, which is a trial of an inhibitor of a particular pathway of inflammation in the body, and the drug is called infliximab and the Medical Research Council and National Institute for Health Research have funded that study, which will begin later this year. These are some of the developments. With the patients here, we've actually done uh, work to establish what the best way of treating currently is. So a good example of that is a study we've done looking at pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy, which was recently a combined item of work undertaken with the patient group here that was established, I mentioned, with the Biomedical Research Unit. It's a slow process and sometimes it can be a frustratingly slow process, but with determination and continued application and engaging more people in the endeavours to actually advance patient care, we will get new treatments that will work more effectively than we're currently able to provide. Of that, I'm convinced.